Oh, boy. I mean, are we ever going to stop talking about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity? I mean, I hope not. Because I am so excited for this game. I can't wait for it to come out. I can't wait to, you know, explore that that, that prequel story for Breath of the Wild. Uh, do some reactions, some impressions, live stream, all that jazz. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but before I get into this little bit of news for you guys, I have to remind you of our giveaways going on. We have a Switch Lite giveaway right now uh, with two second place winners winning game of choice for Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is go down in the description. There's a laundry list of ways uh, that you can enter, including subscribing to the channel, uh, hitting the bell icon, setting it to all notifications, joining our Discord server, following on Twitter, all that jazz. A whole bunch of stuff down there, commenting, liking. Uh, beyond that, we also have a second giveaway for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There's a Gleam.io link for that as well. Also, if you happen to join our Patreon at Patreon com slash nintendo prime for as little as one doll hair per month uh you will get 15 entries uh into all of our giveaways all right now let's uh talk about hyrule warriors age of calamity yet again i feel like i've made like three four five videos on it since it was announced because i'm so excited about this game i, I did a discussion video on it uh which i don't always do discussion videos on, on this kind of stuff you know i did a little debate about if it's a dark you know, one of the darkest, or if not the darkest, quote-unquote, Zelda games, because it is canon to the Zelda timeline. But today we actually have something factual, newsy, number-wise to talk about. Right now, in Amazon US, all right, so the largest retailer, online retailer in video games in the world for, you know, at least the United States, which is the largest market for video games in the world, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity right now is the top-selling game. The top-selling game. Now, if you guys remember, we did a report not too long ago about how Super Mario 3D All-Stars was the second best-selling overall game on Amazon, uh, right behind uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, right? So Animal Crossing New Horizons is the best-selling overall game on Amazon this year, followed up by a Super Mario 3D All-Stars. But right now, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is the top-selling game since it was announced. It, it was number two for a little bit behind 3D All-Stars. Now it's number one. Now, to be fair, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is still number two. And Super Mario 3D All-Stars is sold out. So Age, so Age of Calamity is continuing to get new pre-orders in. I'll have a link to pre-order it on Amazon down below, by the way. It'll be the top link in the description. Uh, so if you guys want to do that, get a small kickback. That's great. Uh, at least at the time I'm recording, it's still available to pre-order. Uh, and Super Mario 3D All-Stars isn't. So that's, you know, how well Super Mario 3D All-Stars sold to still be the best, second best selling um, game to come out recently to, to actually order because it can't sell anymore um, because it's sold out. And Asia Calamity is now ahead of it. Now, when you think about that, <clears throat> Musou games typically don't sell extremely well. Uh, most of them have sold under a million. Most Dynasty Warrior games have sold under a million copies. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, at the time that it came out, was the best-selling Musou game of all time, and that was on Wii U. Um, it, it got better with 3DS, and then it ended up doing really well on Switch as well. I think Definitive Edition sold over a million. So it, it is by far and away the biggest runaway success for Musou games ever, for the Warrior series. Uh, then you have you know Fire Emblem Warriors as well, I believe, crossed a million. So Fire Emblem Warriors kind of did really well too. But here's the thing. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity... Because this is a very different type of Warriors game. Because most Warriors games are like celebrations of the series. Uh, so like, you know, like a Hyrule Warriors 2, you would figure would just be a, a, another celebration of Zelda. This is different because this game is a canon prequel. Because it's a canon prequel. Because Breath of the Wild is at, you know, basically 20 million units on Switch all by itself. Without even counting Wii U. That, to me, means this game's going to sell phenomenally well. And the sales on Amazon are showing it. And I know there's been a lot of you pre-ordering at other retailers as well. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity being the best-selling game on Amazon right now indicates that this game, I don't know if it's going to outsell Mario 3D All-Stars. Maybe it will because maybe there'll be more stock of this game. Because, after all, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is Nintendo's holiday game. So there's going to be a lot of stock for this game. A ton, because not only are they going to want to fulfill all pre-orders, they're going to want to have it on store shelves for Black Friday. I don't know what deals yet, or if there's going to be discounted switches then, but I do know that Nintendo's going to want Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity on store shelves for Black Friday. So, it's going to have a lot of units made. Maybe even more units made for its launch than Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So, it's entirely possible this game 
maybe outsell as 3D All-Stars. I, I know that sounds crazy because 3D All-Stars to potentially pass Animal Crossing New Horizons is the fastest selling uh, game ever uh, for Switch. But Age of Calamity is kind of right there as well. Age of Calamity has the potential, the potential that in its launch month of November to hit sales of five, six, seven, eight million. Think about that. Five, six, seven, eight million for a Warriors game, for a franchise that really one million is like the upper echelon of what that game sells. And why? Because of the story. It's a canon story to the most popular Zelda game of all time. And that Zelda game happens to be part of a franchise, The Legend of Zelda, that is one of the most well-respected franchises in history. So the hype is real. The hype is very real just for the story. And there's actually a lot of people I have seen on Twitter, on Reddit, on the comment sections of my videos, pretty much everywhere on the internet, even in real life, that are showing interest in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity because it's a prequel. They didn't play the prior Hyrule Warriors game. In fact, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is sold out on Amazon right now because so many people went back to buy it because they didn't play it in the first place. People are very, very, very interested in this game because of its connection to Breath of the Wild, because it's official, because it's about you know, cutscenes and, and filling in the gaps of things that happened in Breath of the Wild. So this is going to be a game that I really hope that Koei Tecmo put everything they have into. I hope they put all their best developers on it, and I hope that Nintendo's direct involvement led to this game being the best Musou game ever made. Because this is really the Musou series' one shot that it might ever get to really become bigger than just Zelda, right? We know Hyrule Warriors is a big success. Age of Calamity is going to sell 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 million. Who knows? Maybe it tops 10 for all we know. I have no idea. But what I do know besides the fact that it's going to sell like crazy and be the best-selling Warriors game of all time, is if the gameplay and everything else really captures people because they, they've had a hard time hitting that mass market, if it really captures people, this could make other Warrior games sell better going forward. I mean, Fire Emblem Warriors could see a sales bump. We could see a new Dynasty Warriors in the future see a sales bump because of this. You know, I don't think, well, well Zelda's the, the reason people are interested. I think if they nail this gameplay, that uh, they're looking at something that could potentially blow the Warrior series up to levels it's never been to. That's really saying something. Really, really saying something. So, again, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity comes out on November 20th. And, uh, man, I don't think I've ever been more excited for, for a, a non- uh, like I like I'm I'm the most, game I'm most hyped for is Breath of the Wild too, but right behind it's Age of Calamity. I mean Age of Calamity I'm maybe even more hyped for at the moment just because I know when it's coming. Guys, we're getting a prequel to Breath of the Freaking Wild. Can you believe it? All right, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz. I am Nintendo Prime. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, it's been a hectic weekend around the channel, hasn't it? <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video.